Hello, welcome to Cloud Channel. In this module, we will learn how to load data from flight file into table in Snowflake. And we will learn uh, how to create data warehouse, how to create table, how to create a file format, and how to make the connections and how we can load the data from this uh, CSV file into Snowflake. We will learn all this in this module. Let me log into Snowflake account. Yeah, I'm in Snowflake account. So before we load any data into table, so we need to have a data warehouse. Uh, right now, I don't have any data warehouses in my account. So I will create one data warehouse. I will go to warehouses option and I will go to create and click on create. So I need to give a name to this data warehouse. I will say data warehouse 01. Now I need to select the size. So we have extra small, small, medium, large. It depends on our load. We can choose our size. And we can always uh, resize this data warehouse according to our needs. So here I will just choose the small one, uh, one credit per hour, because my data file is uh, very small. So this is just a demo. So that's why I'm just using small size and small data file to load into table. And next option, auto suspend. So if I go to auto suspend, so I will choose five minutes if my warehouse is inactive for five minutes then it will automatically suspend this warehouse so that we don't get charged and i will check on the i will check this uh, auto resume option because whenever i go to worksheet if i want to run something so it will automatically resume the warehouse so that we can run the query so uh, i will add a comment i will say this is data warehouse one data warehouse huh? house one and i will look at the sql create data warehouse just warehouse size so i will close this and finish this creation so now we can see it's creating so it should be ready just like you know in seconds because uh, it is very quick in snowflake we can create warehouses databases like you know we don't see any latency creating this object so now I will select this and I will click on this data warehouse. So it is up and running. So before I want before I start loading data into table, so I want to discuss about the data what I'm going to load in my table. So here is the sample data I have that I'm going to load this data in Snowflake table. So I have the columns, month, and year 1958, 1959, and 1960. This is a travel data. So I have four columns here, month, year 1958, 1958, 1959, 1960. And here we can see all the months and here the passenger info who traveled in these years. So now i will create a table in snowflake and then i will create a file format and i'll show you how to load this data into snowflake account i will go back to snowflake account so i'm back in snowflake so we have this data warehouse ready i will go to databases i need to create a database before i create a table i will click on this create option i will say a travel database and i'll say here a travel info and here we can look at the generated sql if we want create database just comment close and finish this now i have my database available now now i need to create a table inside this database I will select this database and here we see options, tables, view, schema. So I will select tables 
and click on create. So now I need to create a table. I'll just say a underscore travel is my table name and schema I will select public and we need to add a comment. So just like you know, we can give this information what this table above. So this is a travel info. Now I need to add columns. We discussed earlier, so we have four columns in our file. So I need to create four files according to that. So I will say month, the first field is month and the column is string. And do I want my column is null or not null? So I will make sure it is not null. So I don't want any null values in this field. And then I will add one more column. I will say year 1958. So here I can keep it like, you know, I will uncheck this option. So in this year, we may see like, you know, passengers travel in this month, or maybe we can see uh, no value sometimes. So that's why I just, I make this column as now. And let me add two more columns and 1959 and one more 1960. And we make sure we select the right data type and we need the integer. So I will go here and select integer. And I will go here, select integer for even 1960. So now we have all the info is available to load data into this table. So let me create this table table name a travel and we can always look at the generated SQL if we want create table uh, under this public schema and a travel month we have four fifths and we added this comments and let's close this and uh, create this table now we have table ready now we have to create a file format uh, what kind of data we are getting in uh, we are getting into this snowflake table and what is the file format is it a text file is it a csv file is it a parquet or any other format so we need to create a file format so i will go to databases and i will select databases and i will go to file formats option we can see tables view schemas all these options i will select file format and click on create file format option. So now we have data uh, in CSV format. So I will say give CSV and schema name public and compressed method. These are all automate, automated. They, they're all populated automatically, but if we want to make changes, we can always make changes. So compression method, you can select whatever you want. So here I keep everything as default and separator comma and row separator new line. So here, so we have our column names in the data file. So we want this first row skip. So here we can see the option header lines to skip. So I will select one. And everything looks good. And I will click on this finish. Now we have this file format is available. So now we are about to load the data into this a travel table. So now I will go back to tables option and I select this table and go to load data option. Click on load data. So here we need to choose the warehouse where we want to use to load the files. Okay, so I will select data warehouse 01. That is the only data warehouse is available. That is the only warehouse is available right now. And I will click on next. So here we can see two options. From where do you want to load files? I have my file on my local machine. So I will select load files from my computer. So we have other options. So I will go through these load files from external stage from other sources, AWS, Azure, or GCP. So I will discuss on this, how to load data from these other cloud providers into Snowflake in next session.
And for now, I will select the files. And I will select a travel. And click on next. Now we need to choose the file format. So far, I created only CSV file format. That is the only one available right now. If we have other file formats, like, you know, we need to pick the right file format for this load. And everything looks good. I will go to next. And here we see what should the load do if it encounters an error while parsing a file. So do not load any data in the file or stop loading roll back and return the error. So I will select the stop loading if we see any issue in this load. So I will select this option, stop loading, roll back and return the error. And then click on load. Now we can see this load is completed and loaded and the file is a travel.csv. That is the file that we want to load and to the into a travel table and we total have 12 rows and 12 rows loaded now i will click on okay so now we have data available in our table so how do we run the queries and i will go to worksheets i will go to worksheets and here i don't see that a travel database is available so we can just click on this refresh now button now i can see my database is available so i will select this database and see we have two schemas available information schema and public schema and we created a travel table under public schema and i select this schema and what are the tables available? We can see all the tables available under this schema. And I see a travel table is available. And here I see all the fields, month, year 1958, 59, and 60. And month is where character string, string data type we selected and year we selected integer number. So now I want to see the data. I can just click on preview data and here we can see all the data i will to maximize this window just click on this maximize results now i can see complete data 12 rows all months and i have all year data available so i will minimize this and now this is how we can see it but what if we want to run any queries and i will go to this workspace and here i will come I will go to this option row i want to keep it as a system admin and warehouse data warehouse 01 and database a travel and public everything is there so we need to choose the right option so i keep everything same and now i need to run a query just run aid underscore travel and run query now we can see the data it's the same data but let me see if i want to check the total count i will just run total count and run it so now we can see the total count 12 rows total 12 rows available in this table so we have the same data in the file so our data count is matching and everything looks good if we want to see like you know uh, what queries we ran in this session so we can go to history and check everything and we can select these options user or we can look at at warehouse level everything so i think uh, our load is completed we can see data and everything is matching so so far in this session we learned we learned how to create a warehouse and how to create table how to create file format and how to select the right data type and uh, we did like you know we loaded data from our local machine into snowflake table we created a table and we did the validations and everything was looking good and total count is matching 
If you have any questions on the slow data from flat file into table in Snowflake, please post in the comments. If you like this video, please subscribe and share the channel. Thank you.